technology and the way we live doesn't care about my opinion or my feelings and it doesn't care about yours either. And so you can walk around earth and judge, oh, it's so sad that all these kids can't communicate because they're on the phone anymore. Or you can walk out tonight and have dinner and see people at a table and nobody's talking to each other and they're all on the phone and you're judging. And you could talk about a day and age when it was simpler and nicer and all this. Nobody gives a fuck. (laughs) And if you don't adjust to the reality of the situation, you will be completely left behind. And that's it, too many people are executing or hoping or trying to figure out how to live in a world that used to be or the way they wish it was versus attacking the reality of the world. And here is the reality of the world, my friends. The cell phones that you're all holding right now or in your pocket are the remote controls of our society. They are the single most important thing in the world. There's nothing close. Literally, literally, I would rather have somebody roll up on me right now, stab me with a knife and steal my wallet then lose my phone. (laughs) The world is being lived through that device and you can judge it, you can do anything you want, but that's the reality. And if you sit here today and have any ambitions, professionally, personally, whether you wanna sell a course, whether you wanna sell a sneaker, whether you wanna raise money for the PTA, a nonprofit, get somebody elected, whatever you want to happen in life, Whatever you want to happen in life, you first need somebody's attention and then you need to tell them about it. In the written word, in audio or video. This is how the world works and always has. You want something to happen. You need to figure out where the people are to tell them about that thing and then you need to communicate that to them in a compelling enough way that they do the thing that you want them to do. You can do that in the written word, you can do that in audio, and you can do that in video. That is how it's been. It was called the newspaper, the television, and the radio. Now it's called a blog, a vlog, or a podcast. It's the same thing. Nothing's changed except one thing. Your attention is moving to a new place and leaving an old place. The other thing is, we have not figured out the creative strategies to be successful in this world. 